So another card in this lovely game would be you can pick a card. You can ask your child to pick a card. In this case, my target number would be seven. I take three dice at a time. I roll them and come close to seven. My target number is seven here. So I have four, I have three, and I have one. Now how do I get it? Four plus three will give me seven. So what do I do with this one? Should I add, subtract, multiply, divide? Well, I don't have to add or subtract compulsively. I can always multiply. I can always say. 4 plus 3 is 7, multiplied by 1 is 7, so I get a perfect number. If a child is only doing addition or subtraction, no worries. You can always teach them 4 plus 3 plus 1 is 8, which is closer to 7, or you can subtract it. I'll take another example. My number is 3, I roll my dice again. That's 4, 1 and 5. Now how do I get number 3? If the child says 5 plus 1 is 6, Subtract it. 4. Answer is 2. If I say 5 plus 4, that gives me 9. Less 1 is 8. So the closer number is 2 and that's good to go. This activity is involving different operations. So whether it's addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. You are not going to tell your child whether to use addition, subtraction, multiplication or division. He needs to decide on his own. So you have a target number. You play with your child. You choose a target number and distribute three cards to each. Suppose my target number is 10. I give him three cards. That's three for him. That's three for me. Let's see his cards. So that's 13. That's 12. And that's how do I get my perfect 10? I say you add these two. That's 13 plus 12. That gives you 25. I subtract the 3 and I get 13. That's the closest I can get. For more recipes, conversation, DIYs for kids, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss a video from kidstoppress.com.